Hello and welcome to US Maritime Academy. In this video, we are going to present to you how to use parallel rules. We're also going to show you the best techniques for moving them around and also a few of the construction details which make for a good set of parallel rules. This particular set of parallel rules is the Weems and Plath number 141. It is a 15 inch model, which is measured from here to here. They do make 12 inch models, which are perfectly fine for class. It just, the longer models give you a little bit easier ability to do some of the markups that we have to do on the chart. This model, again, has many features that make it a, a rather nice set of parallel rules. You'll note that on the back, there are four cork feet, which helps to stabilize the parallel rules and keep it from moving unintentionally. The parallel rules also have some rigidity, which is nice so that when you hold them up in the air, they won't flop from side to side. That'll give you uh, some stability when you're doing the coursework uh, and prevent them from moving unintentionally when you don't want them to. There's also two little knobs here, and the knobs are used primarily just to grip the non-moving side and allow you some purchase. They are not intended to be used as moving them like in this manner. I'll show you the best techniques for that. Uh, the knobs are probably different on different models, but uh, nonetheless, they're just used for the, the working side of the parallels. Now, this model also has markings on the outer edge. Those are not necessary for class, so if yours does not have them, don't worry about it. Another nice feature of the Williams and Plath is this nice smooth, it's kind of hard to see, but a nice smooth bevel on the edge. It's nice to have a very sharp and very uh, angled edge for when we're doing the markups on the chart. We'll cover that in, in further detail later. Now, as for use of the parallels, it's very, very important to start by pressing, by putting your fingers as wide as you can and pressing very firmly, as firm as you can. The point of that is that when you're moving the, the moving side of the parallels, you don't want this parallel to move in any way, shape, or form. So you put ample amount of pressure here. It's firm, but not enough to cramp your arm, let's say but there is a fair amount of pressure there. Now you notice if I want to use this side of the parallel, I have to take and transfer that pressure to this side with as wide a grip as possible. And now I can release the other side and then move it as necessary. But you want to do that transfer so that at this point in time, I have equal weight on both hands and then I release. That way you're not running into a situation where you release early and you can see that it moves. So that's uh, to be avoided. So transfer back and forth, move it, transfer back and forth and move them. Now I'm going to show you how to move the parallel rules in a horizontal fashion, as well as even a 45 degree angle or vertical as the case may be. So for the purposes of this, Example, I'm going to start in the lower right corner, and I want to end up somewhere over here. So once again, I'm going to take and anchor my hand as best I can with firm pressure. And I'm going to start walking the parallel rule, shift the weight, continue walking, such as this. Now you'll notice that I'm going at a 45 degree angle. And I really want to kind of end up down over here. So what I can do is actually shift the parallels down and that changes the orientation with which I'm, I'm moving. So now I can choose to go up more or down more, but it allows you to kind of keep on course with where you were, move them up and down, up and down, slowly, methodically, it's not a race. Be very deliberate about your movements. And you'll notice I've arrived at roughly the same latitude that I started at. Now, let's say that I wanted to go at a 45 degree angle up to the compass rows in the upper right portion of the chart. Well, same thing. I'm going to anchor my hand on the non-moving side very firmly. 
going to take the little knob and move it, but you notice that I'm heading this way and that's not the direction I wanna go. Instead, you can swing the parallels up in this direction and that allows us to move at more of a 45 degree angle. I can even go up here and move across, move down, move over, kind of all depends on where you want to end up. And this does take some practice. It's one of the core skills that we will do in this class. You will be using these parallel rules every single class session. We do lots of chart work, lots and lots of chart work with them. And as you can see, I'm ending up roughly where I want to be. Let's say that I want to go just a little bit higher and I can end up up here. So there is how to use the parallel rules. They are incredibly versatile, incredibly useful, and you need to learn how to use them properly. So now your homework is to go have some fun. Go do some horizontal work, go up and down, go vertical, however you wish to do it. Enjoy.